Hey everyone. So right now I'm going to show you my home screen setup from my phone, the apps that I have on my home screen, and the reason why did I end up with this kind of setup. So let's go. So firstly the wallpaper, and I don't think this wallpaper will last for a whole week because I tend to change my wallpaper because every time I change my wallpaper it kind of feels like I have a new phone so having a new wallpaper every week is kind of refreshing to me now before we talk about the apps let's talk about the widgets first so on the top left side I have the tick tick widget this is my to-do list app of choice my favorite features here are the firstly the natural language detector in which um, and every time I type something on my phone on this app let's say I have to do something tomorrow at 3 p.m. it will automatically detect the word tomorrow and the 3 p.m. time so that I don't have to set them up manually. I just have to type them along with the task that I want to do. And the second is it can remind you in advance. So let's say I have to do something at 3 p.m. it will automatically set an advance reminder like maybe 10 minutes before or one hour before so that I can have the confidence that I will not forget this task. The second widget that you can see here is the calendar app from Apple. What I like about this is it is very reliable and at the same time you can see the date by just looking at it. Although my main calendar is Google Calendar, I just like having the Apple Calendar here on my home screen. And oh by the way, I use Tick Tick as my to-do list app, not the native reminders app from Apple. And I don't have any problems with the reminders app from Apple. I just want to have the flexibility of if I need to change my phone into an Android phone I won't have any problems with it because Tick Tick can work on Android. Google Calendar can work also on Android. I'm just using Apple Calendar as it syncs up with my Google Calendar. Now going to the left side the widgets section I have here the battery indicator for my headset earphones and a Bluetooth devices that I might connect to this phone. On the top right side, you can see a QR code that is what I use every time I go to a mall, especially here in Antipolo, where if you want to go inside a mall, you need to have a QR code for malls here in Antipolo. And the calendar widget that you can see below them is the Ermine calendar. Now, what I like about this calendar is you can see the date today, the month, but you can also see the month after which is very convenient every time i want to plan something up ahead now we're done with the widgets let's go to the apps so as you can see here there's the settings app the camera calculator safari basic very basic things the phone flipboard is where i usually read my news um, what I like about this is that you, your feed, you can curate it based on your taste. So if you want to read the news without, you know, absorbing the negative ones, you want to filter them out, this is the best app that you can have. So if I want to see some tech news, I can see it here. If I want to see some news about the Philippines, about anything around me, I can see it also here about science, about other kinds of things. If I want a specific news, I can choose what news I want to see. So Spotify, I have Spotify, not Apple Music, even though I'm using an iPhone, because I think Spotify has better suggestions than Apple Music. I know, by the way, if you want to see my Spotify playlist, um, you can see them at the link below. Besides Spotify is Pocket Cast. Um, Wes, why do you have a separate app for podcast if Spotify already has it? That's a good question. But what I like about Pocket Cast is that it has more features than Spotify. Like it has more precise control on speed and you can also trim silence in an audio from a podcast. I have here Gcash for my e-wallet, photos, regular weather app. Now the games that I have here, the first one is the Rocket League mobile version. Uh, this is very addicting. I hope you you will try it. The second one is Golf Battle, also very addicting for me personally. The third one is Mobile Legends. I think everyone already knows about this. Next one is Call of Duty, also a very famous game. And Shooting Hoops, one of the new games of Netflix. It is a very basic game but it can entertain you. If you are bored if you're not bored then it can't the next one here is simple note now why do I use simple note instead of the regular Apple notes well because it is a note-taking app that is simple and it's also available on Android so if I have to change my phone into an Android phone 
I don't have any problem syncing my notes. The next one is Notion, a very powerful note-taking app or anything else that you want to do with it, you can do it on Notion. Next is Clock and then you can see the Tick Tick app, the Messenger, the Messages app, Telegram. Those are my three main messaging platforms. Now, there's no social media app on my home screen because personally, I really don't like scrolling too much on my phone, especially scrolling on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I just feel like my energy is getting drained by them. So yeah, I don't really like spending my time, most of my time on my phone. But Wes, what about YouTube? Bah, you're doing vlogs, so why don't you have any YouTube app on your phone? Well, I don't normally watch YouTube videos on my phone because it is kind of difficult because it has ads. I don't have YouTube Premium. So I think that's basically it. The rest are on my app library. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, click the like button. If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube, you can, you know, subscribe. It's free. Have a great day.